the problem here is really uh, we've had our first three withdrawal, right? And the recent one was when uh, our Prime Minister, uh, we announced after the joint election uh, success that uh, more Malaysians can withdraw 10,000 from the EPF, right? So why I say it's a problem here is because I think EPF have uh, wrote an article earlier that they found that because of all this withdrawal, right? And also because uh, of so many things that we are able to allow to withdraw from EPF, only 3% of Malaysians can afford to retire. And I, I guess this is the real reason why I'm sharing this with you is because is the 10K necessary? Uh, EPF mentioned or Tanku Zafu mentioned that additional withdrawal can cause members to retire below the poverty line. Uh, I think this he mentioned before the fourth withdrawal. <laughs> And right now, he also mentioned that if he if there's any more withdrawal, he's going to resign. Lah. Right. But we all can see uh, from this point of view where the real problem is, is when you withdraw EPF 10K without knowing what to do with it. I think that's a big no-no. Or if you were to spend it for unnecessary stuff, it's a big no-no. But if you know how to use the money uh, for necessity and also be able to invest it for high return, I think that's a yes. For those of you who say no, uh, for those of you who are still considering, right? This case study is actually Sarah. She's one of my students, right? So in our class, we actually do this exercise. So uh, Sarah said, Sarah currently, she's 30 years old. She said that by the time she want to retire, right? Uh, she will want about 6,000 per month, which is equivalent to about 72,000 a year. Hmm. But you know, when she want to retire at age 55, we know with inflation that 72,000 will never be 72,000 anymore. It will probably be 191,000 based on the inflation rate that she mentioned. Uh, okay. And this 191,000 uh, is actually equivalent to 4.4 million for it to last until age 85. You know? Right. Mm. So the question here is if she can hit her financial or retirement goal by leaving the money in EPF, are we? all agreeable that we shouldn't even take out the money, right? But the problem here is that if let's say she cannot hit this retirement goal, that means she either have to uh, save more money or have to get her money work harder for her. From this simple exercise, uh, maybe like a 15 minute exercise, right? You'll be able to get a very clear understanding of whether you should put your money in EPF harder based on what you're doing right now. So when you see a gap, uh, then of course the answer here is to withdraw. Uh. If you see that there is no gap here, that means you are able to hit your retirement goal by just doing what you're doing now, which is contributing to EPF. Then technically you don't have to withdraw your EPF money. Uh. EPF is actually a better tool post-retirement, you know, guys. Why? Because in EPF is actually, how many income stream does it give? Or how many types of income does it give? One only, right? Because it actually give a 6% average return. But the good thing about EPF is that because we cannot access to it, hence we allow the compound power of compounding interest to work. And hence after maybe five or 10 years when you look back at it, it's like, wow, you know, it's so big. Imagine if you can use the same concept uh, to be able to put it into a good asset, right? That gives you both capital gain as well as... Uh, income, income stream. Can you imagine the kind of power that it's actually going to give you? So for those of you guys who are still at this stage, you know, pre-retirement, that means you're trying to work towards getting to your retirement goal. Actually, what you need to focus on is really on the capital gain, on the good assets first, right? It's only when you hit your, uh, that 4 million or the retirement goal or the financial freedom number, then EPF, comes into very beautifully here because what you can do is you put that money into EPF, right? And it can actually give you the kind of income stream. You don't have to worry every year is giving you the six, five, six percent, right? You can sleep well at night. 